Okay, sketch the general shape of each function. This skill will come in handy specifically for things like uh, testing. If you if they're asking a question and there's multiple choice, so understanding the parent graphs and being able to figure that out quickly is very helpful. So the first example that we have is a negative that says negative x squared. It also says that the constant is negative 16. So what we know is it is a negative facing parabola and where does it touch the y-axis? At negative 16. Now if you didn't know anything else, maybe it's coming from this direction and crosses right there. Maybe that's all the time you have, but on a multiple choice question, you might even rule it down. Uh, it might be ruled out so that you only have one choice, that an upside down that crosses at negative 16. Boom. But understanding parent graphs is very important. The next one is x cubed, and then it crosses at positive 1 on the y. Uh, the y-axis. And so an x cubed looks like this. So that's the general shape. Now it can get more curvy and it can get barely curvy. But the general shape is, looks like this. Now it could end up being something that looks like this, depending on w which function that you have. But the general shape, the general shape of each function is a quadratic looks like a positive quadratic looks like this. Okay, the next example is an x to the fourth. Oh, here is a good thing to remember. All x to the evens look like some version of a parabola. So if it's, x, this is x squared. So if it's x to the fourth, it might just be a little bit more curvy. x to the sixth even more curvy and it, the curves might look like this. I don't know, something like that. So x to the evens, the endpoints will be facing the same direction. If it's a negative x to the even, endpoints will be facing in the same direction, but the negative direction. Then all the x to the odds. So even x to the first is a line, the endpoints are headed in opposite directions. So x cubed endpoints are headed in opposite directions. x to the fifth, it'll be a little bit more curvy. Endpoints are headed in opposite direction. So for a negative x to the fourth, we know it's going to be turned upside down. And look it, we know that it's touching right there at positive three. Now this graph may not look like that, but this is the general shape of that graph. And then finally, we have a negative x to the fifth. So remember, if it's an x to the odd, so an x to the odd, a positive one, looks like this. A negative x to the odd will be coming from this direction. And that's what this is. It's a little bit more curvy. But this is the general shape, and it touches right there at positive 1. All right, this is it for sketching the general shape of polynomial functions.